All right, let's look at this problem. We have a stick of some length, let's say length one, and it's broken at random. So a stick broken at random. Obviously, you get two pieces. So the question is find the PDF of the ratio of the find the PDF of the ratio of the two pieces. Probability density function of the ratio. So, so random means it's uh, the breaking point. Let's say here it could be anywhere between zero and one. We get two pieces. I'm going to call one piece x, so the other piece will be one minus x. So what we want is uh, uh, what uh, what we are interested in is in the ratio x over one minus x, and we want to find the density function of y. That's the problem. So the question is, if you look at the question, nothing else is given except uh, that this a stick is uh, broken at random. So we always sort of make some common sense assumption. If this stick is of length one, and if you could break it anywhere at random, uh, without uh, so a reasonable assumption is to assume that the density function of x, this variable, the length of one piece or the other piece, is a uniform random variable. So this is the implicit uh, in it. So if we can deduce this, then we can uh, do this problem. So here now, if, so we are interested in f y y. I will start. I'll do it two different ways. Then I'll make some variations of this problem, and uh, just to see uh, the dynamic surface. So this is by definition probability of y less than or equal to y, but y is given to be x over one minus x less than or equal to y. At this point, we know that both x and 1 minus x are positive, so I can multiply here. So this is x is less than y multiplied by 1 minus x. And we also know that looking at the, it may also make sense to draw a diagram of this function. So I'll draw it here. So notice that as x, go, x is 0, y is 0, as x approaches infinity, uh, 1, y blows up, and so it's like this. Uh, for y to do x over 1 minus x. So y goes, uh, so we see that as uh, x goes between 0 and 1, y's uh, range of y is 0 to infinity. So anyway, y is positive. So I, I group all the x terms together. So I get a probability of uh, 1 plus y or multiplied by x is less than or equal to y from here by grouping, uh, rearranging the terms. The idea is to bring this in terms of x, which is known to us. So this is the same as probability of x less than or equal to y over 1 plus y. But this is the distribution function of x evaluated at y over 1 plus y. And so if you take the derivative of fy, which is uh, d by d, uh, dy of uh, fx of y over 1 plus y, so the derivative of this function, v multiplied by derivative of uh, numerator, which is one minus u multiplied by the derivative of denominator of this, divided by denominator squared, multiplied by fx evaluated at y over one plus y. Remember, this is x1. So if you take any y, this is x1. x1 is between zero and one. So fx of x1 is one. So here y cancels, and this is the answer, which I'll write it down. So we get uh, fyy as 1 over 1 plus y, the whole squared, y between 0 and 1. Is this right? So you can check whether the area under this is 1. So this is uh, 1 over 1 plus y, the whole squared dy, 0 to infinity. Let me change variable 1 plus y equal to u. Uh, so this becomes 1 over u squared, uh, dy is du, and uh, when y is 0, u is 1, when y is infinity, u is infinity. This limit, uh, this integral is minus 1 over u, 1 to infinity, that answer is 1. So everything checks. This is it. 
Now, let me go to the same problem. So we have Fy like this and uh, Fxx like this. It's a good idea always to draw the two diagrams one below the other, as you will see in different examples why this helps. So you can physically you see here as x goes from zero to one, y goes from zero to infinity. And for any y, there is a solution, only one solution, x1, and that's here. So if you do want to do it the other way, so once again, we start with the function y equal to x over one minus x. We figure out that uh, y goes between zero to infinity as x goes between zero to one. And if you cross multiply as before, uh, so you get, uh, and you collect all the x terms together, you get x multiplied by one plus y equal to y, or the only one solution as before you get to be this. So you can take the, the next step is to take the derivative of dx1 by dy or dy by dx. This is easy here. That's v multiplied by derivative of the numerator minus u multiplied by derivative of the denominator plus one plus y in denominator squared. So that's one over one plus y over squared. So we get fyy to be dx1 by dy, there's only one solution multiplied by fx x1. fx of x1 you can see is one. So this is one and this is here. So you get the same answer another way. All right, so I'm going to, as the name says, I'm going to make slight variations to this problem and then, uh, uh, so that uh, this is actually a meaningful problem because a broken stick, two pieces, the ratio is uh, whatever it is. It is a PDF. Now let me make some made up problems around this problem. So it's the same random variable, y equal to x over one minus x. By the way, in this problem, you could see that it's only, a, you can think about it, you don't need to do it. If I flip with this, because I could have taken any ratio. I could have taken one, one minus x over x and call it z. And you see why nothing should be different. In other words, the density function would look like this. So here is a case where whether you work with y or one over y, you get the same density function. So now let me do this problem, but I'm artificially going to change uh, x to uh, zero to two. And uh, so let me uh, so let me draw the diagrams. So for y and uh, x is of course zero to two. So this is f x x. It goes up to to two. So so here the graph is like this. In this piece we have seen. So let's see the other piece when x is greater than one. When x is greater than one, you can see that uh, as you come from this side, uh, it is still infinity, but it will flip. So it will come from minus infinity. And when x is all the way to plus infinity, if you divide by x, you get uh, one over x divided by, or one over, one over x minus one. So as x goes to plus infinity, this goes to mi minus one. In other words, uh, the graph would be something like this. And this graph is, this is minus one. So as x goes to, as x goes from zero to two, you can see that y is from zero to infinity. And, and this portion, as uh, x goes from zero to two, Let's see what happens. So let's put x equal to two here. This is two divided by, this goes to two divided by minus one. So that's minus two. So x goes, y goes up to minus two. So it is this region. And y is between minus infinity and less than minus two. So that's the variation on uh, y. And uh, 
so let's uh, so it's a little more complicated problem so again let's uh, solve for uh, so it's the same solution you have but notice that at each place when y is positive you get one solution x1 here and that value this value is half so that's x1 and when y is negative again you only get one solution i'm going to call it here x1 prime so why because x1 prime is between 1 and 2 so when x is between 1 and 2 you have a negative value for y otherwise it's a positive value you just have to sort of uh, uh, so uh, so as x goes from 0 to 2 the range of y is y is either between 0 to infinity or y is less than minus 2 and uh, 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 we just need to compute the d, uh, dx by uh, so x1. The solution is we already had it before. So y over one plus y, and we computed its uh, derivative dx1 by dy is uh, one over one plus y the whole square. That's always positive, so I don't need to do so. F y y would be d x one by d y absolute value multiplied by f x of x one so that's going to be basically two multiplied by one plus this one over half is from here this is f x one so this is the answer y between zero to infinity or y is less than minus two So, if you want to check whether this is correct, we can also see some minus infinity to minus two uh, f y y d y plus uh, zero to infinity f y y d y. So that's quickly minus infinity to minus two one over half one plus y the whole square d y. Uh, plus. Uh, Zero to infinity, one over two, one plus y, the whole square d. So again, the same substitution. I'm going to put one plus y equal to u. So notice that this integral now becomes when y is uh, minus infinity will stick around as minus infinity. When y is minus two, this is minus one. The half goes outside. This is one over u square du plus half is common. Here. Uh, One over u squared du because du is a uh, dy is du. So when y is uh, zero, this is one as we had before. So if you do this, both are uh, so half minus one over u minus infinity minus one plus minus one over u uh, one to infinity. So if you see that each integral is uh, one plus one two divided by two one, so everything checks. This is Except this is just an artificially made up problem. So let me make up a couple more problems again. Variations of the just to show you the dynamics. So again, the same. Uh, I'm just going to change this slightly, uh, like this. Uh, and uh, to make it interesting, again, I'll keep uh, uniform from zero to two. So. You have two things going on. X is zero to two f x x. So this is uh, so you should draw this graph y. So we already had this graph before. So remember up to two and something happens at one. so at one this blows up. Otherwise, uh, but now notice that. Uh, This is square, so it will come down like this. The question is, what happens at plus infinity? So again, if you divide by x, uh, you see that uh, at uh, plus infinity it is one. So the graph actually goes like this. This asymptotic value is plus one. Remember, every problem is different. This is two. This is one. So now what? So now you see that, uh, and let's also evaluate the value of the function of this graph at uh, 
uh, of this value at y equal to x equal to 2. So notice when x equal to 2, this is 2 divided by 1 minus 2, that's minus 1 squared, so that's 4. So this value is 4. So the interesting here is as x go as uh, and uh, when y is in this region, which is between 0 and 4, notice that this is y. y. Of course, y only goes between 0 to infinity. That's clear. But when y is between 0 to 4, if you take there is one root, x1. But y is somewhere here. You have two roots. So we have to deal with these cases separately. So I'm, I'm just going to write this. Uh, when y is between 0 and 4, you have one solution, x1. When y is greater than 4, uh, two solutions, x1 and x2. So let's find out x1 and x2. So this is just by looking at the graph. I figured out that much. And of course, if you plot um, mentally, if you bring up x1 and x2 here, you notice that uh, because this is uniform, the value is half, which is okay. So that's a cross solution. So we have x over one, uh, one minus x equal to plus minus square root of y. So if I cross multiply and solve, I get square root of y one minus x, which is uh, so I get x one to be square root of y over square root of y plus one. X two you replace y by square root uh, plus square root of y by minus square root of y. So x2 is going to be minus square root of y, the second solution here, minus square root of y plus 1, which is the same as uh, this one. So we have x1 and x2. Now the next step is, so, so this is step 1, finding the range of y and figuring out how many roots. Step 2 is uh, finding the roots, uh, finding the roots. And step three is finding the derivative for each one of these. So dx over, so this is a good example where the derivatives are not the same at all the roots. So let's look at that. So dx1 by dv is v du. So du is this minus u dv over v squared. So so notice that one term cancels and you get this to be two square root of y. So that that is uh, this is uh, dx one by dy. Let's also do the x two by dy. So dx two by dy. You'll use this formula. V du minus u dv over v squared. So the first term cancels out, so you get uh, minus one over two square root of y, square root of y minus one squared. But remember, you, in the formula, we are only interested in the absolute value. So the other one is already positive. So, so we have everything. We have the derivative. The fourth step is just to plug it into the formula, which is f y y. So we have two cases. In one case, when y is, is between zero to four, when y is between zero and four, you have one solution. So that's going to be, and that's the positive. So uh, that's the solution between. So look at here. When y is between zero and four, this is where the y is. When y is between zero and four, you have one solution, which is less than. 1. Remember, y is positive. So if you look at this, y is positive. So this is less than 1. This is greater than 1. So that's the solution. That's basically this x2. So we go for x1 here. So when y is between this one, this is going to be dx1 by dy, absolute value fx of x1, which is half. 
when y is uh, greater than 4, it's going to be two, so both the solutions. Right? Because when y is between greater than 4, you get one solution here between 0 and 1. And you get another solution be between 1 and 2. So this is the solution which is less, this is less than one, this is greater than one. So dx1 by dy fx of x1 plus dx2 by dy fx of x2. So let me substitute uh, what we have. Uh, so this is going to be, remember the fx1 and fx, this is half. And we already have the uh, dx1 by dy here. So that's going to be 1 over 4 square root of y, square root of y plus 1, the whole square, if y is between 0 and 4. And the other one is 1 over 4 square root of y, square root of y plus 1, the whole square, square root of y minus 1, the whole square. So we can do a little bit simplification. This is 1 over square root of y. If I multiply these two, the denominator becomes y minus 1, the whole square, and the numerator it is this minus this. So this is going to be square root of y minus 1, the whole square, plus square root of y plus 1, the whole square. So this you can see will simplify as 2 multiplied by, the middle term will cancel y plus 1. So 2, 2 cancels. So you get the final answer. Uh, so this answer will turn out to be y plus 1 in the numerator divided by 2 square root of y, y minus 1 the whole square. This is between y greater than 4. So I'll rewrite it here. So this is 1 over 4 square root of y for y between 0 and 4. And this is 1 over 2 square root of y, y minus 1, the whole square root for y greater than 4. And you can sketch this graph. And uh, I believe it will be of some shape like this. Remember, y is positive. so. Uh, density function is only, so remember this is, again, this is not a stick problem exactly, but motivated by stick. And uh, finally, as to conclude, let me just do the same problem with a small, uh, changing the x to be something else, just to practice this problem. So we'll continue with, uh, uh, let's say the same example. But this time I'm going to change x to be uniform from minus one to one. So I have to remember x goes from minus one to one. This is fxx. So I certainly need to redraw. This gives me the, that I need to redraw this picture also there. So let's look at that. So this is one. So one we know this graph goes like this. And this is minus one. So the question is, so here, of course, we know we are not interested in this, but you can draw if you want, but I don't want to draw unnecessary stuff. So this is, so zero to minus one. So let's see what, what's the graph on in this region when X is negative. When X is negative, notice that, uh, so for example, when, I, uh, when X is one, this is one over, uh, minus one, this is minus one over, Two, that's half, and when x is minus infinity, a half squared, that's one fourth, and then when x is minus, so divide by x throughout, so it's one over one over x minus one. When x is minus infinity, it's minus one squared. So you can see the graph goes uh, like this. So this is your job first to figure out the graph. So this is uh, one, right, because of the square here. But we are only interested up to minus one. So the question is, what is this value? 
So you put x equal to minus 1, this becomes 2 minus 1, that's uh, square, so that's 1 over 4. So what's the uh, deal here? So notice that as uh, x goes from uh, so we can figure out uh, so y of certainly goes from look at the variation on y as x goes in this region y is uh, positive definitely and 0 to infinity so y goes from 0 to infinity that's the first observation but we can refine this observation. First of all, we notice that as y is between this region, if y is anywhere here, and if you hit this curve, you get to two solutions, x1 and x2. <clears throat> and if you plot, of course, this value, this will be x1, this will be x2. So notice this height is half. And if y is beyond, so if y is uh, between 0 and 1 by 4, we have two solutions. Even before we find out the two solutions, I know uh, we can mark all this. And when y is beyond 1 by 4, beyond this, somewhere here, you just have one solution, which is between zero, uh, positive. Here, the one is positive, one is negative. So let me call this x1 and x2. And uh, when y is beyond, uh, when y is greater than 1 by 4, so x2 is negative, x1 is positive. Uh, only one solution. x1, which is positive. All this is I have figured out from just from the graph. A positive and, of course, less than 1. So that the, my first job is over. I figured out y. Now the second job is we already figured out uh, the two solutions of, because we have done this, you can copy from the previous. So the two solutions, if I rem remember, this is one is this and the X2 is square root of Y over square root of Y minus one. Let's check whether things work out. So notice when Y is, uh, When y is 1 by 4, if you put uh, into this solution, you, you can see here you get the two values. So if I put y equal to 1 by 4, uh, this is 1 by 2, this is uh, this is half, this is 1 plus half. So that's a positive number less than 1. Here I have half, half minus 1. So that's a negative number. So this is x2, which is negative. So everything checks when y is. Uh, so these are the two roots. Uh, this is x2 is here, negative, and x1 is positive for all cases. Now we also found out the dy by dx. So I'm just going to copy it uh, from the previous. Uh, remember, it's exactly the same problem. So we had this here, dx, uh, dx1 by dy. And dx2 by dy also we had the absolute value was here at the top. So I'm just going to copy that too. So now I'm ready to substitute all this into the uh, uh, solution. So my fyy would be, I have two cases. So remember, when y is between uh, 0 to 1 by 4, you have two solutions. So that's going to be a dx1 by dy, fx of x1, uh, plus uh, dx2 by dy, fx of x2, if y is between 0 and 1 by 4. And it's just dx1 by dy, 
f x of x one. I know it is x one and not x two when y is greater than one by four because we went through all this. We know that x one is a positive solution, and when y is here, it's positive and less than one, which you can see from here. Whereas this goes negative. Uh, so this is the negative solution when y is between zero and one by four. All right. So all you have to do is just uh, plug in all this stuff. So we had this before. So I'm just going to. So this will be one, uh, one over four square root of y. Uh, one square root of y plus one the whole square plus one over four square root of y square root of y minus one the whole square and this is one over four square root of y so this is y between zero and one by four and this will turn out to be since I did the simplification before you can copy from the previous one. So, this is just y minus one the whole squared y between zero and one by four. So it's very similar to the previous one. You can say maybe play with the whichever way you want to say. So this is just y no square root. So that's the answer to this. So these are uh, so the moral of the story here is. Uh, to draw the graphs, both the y equal to x, I mean y equal to gx, and, and also below that, y equal to x, y equal to gx, and fxx. And then, of course, the cru crucial thing is as x uh, goes wherever the density function is non zero what happens to y. You could have single solution, multiple solutions. We went through, I uh, illustrated uh, through multiple examples, uh, the cases. And, and not, not only that, this is an interesting case where the derivative at each one of the solutions are different. Most of the problems, the derivative at all these multiple solutions will be the same. But here is an interesting example where they are different. And then for each region where, uh, so as you go through y, you notice that in certain regions, we have two solutions. Certain regions, the same problem. You only have one solution. So you just have to do the given problem. There is no can the solution saying substitute and run. All right, so do through this uh, three, four variations. I hope I showed you how to do the uh, density function of one random variable. Thank you.